We're going to talk about modal interchange. That's sort of the fourth level of harmony. If we break down what's going on in harmony and kind of levels of complexity, we have our diatonic harmony, that's the first level. Then we have our secondary dominance, I made a video. Then subdominance, I made another video. And now we're at modal interchange. What is modal interchange? Let's first of all take a listen. In the key of C, here's my one chord. You hear outros and intros sometimes in jazz that have this kind of... these sounds, or maybe something like these pivotal kind of sounds that are in. Let's take a look at how they're constructed. So if I just scale all the way back to kind of the first level of harmony, stacking thirds inside a major key, if I'm in C major, I'm really using the C Ionian mode. Now the idea of modal interchange is that I take another mode starting on the note C and then make harmony from that. So think about what that means. Let's take C Dorian. What is C Dorian? It's the same as B flat Ionian, right? It's the major scale that's a whole step down from there. Now, what chords come out of that B flat major scale if I'm analyzing them with C being one? I have one minor, two minor, which I already have in C, so I don't need it. I have flat three major seven, four seven, five minor, six minor seven flat five, and flat seven major seven. The idea is that I could just snag any of these chords and it gives the chords that I snag out of there meaning in that key, a way of analyzing them in C. So let's say I have a two, five, one in C and then I just throw in one of these chords, right? I'm gonna go two, five, flat three major seven. Or two, five, one minor, one. Or two, five, flat seven major seven, one. So there are all these sounds that are hiding there. Now as a general rule of thumb, when you're using modal interchange, if it's a minor chord, you're going to use Dorian all the time. If it's a major seven chord, you're gonna use Lydian all the time. And if it's a minor seven flat five, you're gonna use a Locrian sound. And those are the three chords that we kind of snag from it. We don't take the dominant chords from modal interchange because we already have a function for every single dominant chord that exists. It's either gonna be some sort of sub five or secondary dominant. If you watched the previous videos, you'd know that by now. So I can go mode by mode and just map out everything there with C being one. So let's think about what that means. Let's take Phrygian, right? So Phrygian means A flat major equals C Phrygian. But now let's think about that one minor being the first chord. So we have a one minor, then we have a flat two major seven, a flat three dominant. We're not gonna take that because Flat three dominant for our purposes means sub five of two. Then we're gonna take four minor. We have a minor seven flat five built on the fifth degree. We have a major seven built on the flatted six. We have a minor seven, which is super useful, built on the flatted seventh. And that's it. Now check out that minor seven on the flat seven. That's a really useful chord. Five one again. Beautiful options and a way to analyze it in the key. You can go ahead and map out 
every single one of these modes and then get all the modal interchange chords, right? Meaning from C Dorian, C Phrygian, C Lydian, C Mixolydian, C Aeolian, and C Locrian. So now let's imagine a progression where I'm using modal interchange chords. Let's just go from the one to the four minor chord. So it's C Ionian to F Dorian. Let's try to imagine maybe C Ionian to D flat Lydian. So C major seven to the flat two major seven to D flat. The chord comes from Phrygian, so. Maybe C major, C Ionian to that A flat Lydian, the flat six major seven. A real nice one is maybe going from C Ionian to that F sharp minor seven flat five. That's the sharp four minor seven flat five Locrian sound that comes from the Lydian mode. So this sound. A lot of times in progressions you might see like C major, F sharp minor 7 flat 5, F minor. Like. So that's C Ionian, F sharp Locrian to F Dorian. All modal interchange stuff. Modal interchange is sort of one level of dissonance before a modulation. You're not really leaving the key, you're just pivoting away and borrowing from a parallel mode. The idea is that all these keys that the modes come from are closer to C in sound because they contain the note C. So a B flat major has C in it. An A flat major scale has C in it. And then you just flush out the harmony that comes out of that key and you borrow from it momentarily and then you're back in the key. So it's taking a sort of harmonic sidestep inside your chord progression, but then you're back. So if you're listening to sophisticated pop, let's say like Paul Simon, Sting, Nick Drake, people who use a bunch of chords, Billy Joel, you're bound to find some modal interchange all over the place. I hope this helps. Subscribe to the page, like this, tell us how much you love us, uh, join our Patreon, ring the bell, turn on notifications, all that stuff. We have links to all the gear used down below, so make sure you check that out too, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.